Alright, hey there Proxies, this is Proxfy here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Majora's Mask Let's Play. And if you guys didn't miss out in the last episode, we basically went and taken care of some of the Zora eggs that were here in the Pirate Fortress. There's just only one more remaining, and we just only have to go up and pick up the other remaining ones that are over at Pinnacle Rock. Which, uh, if you guys did miss out uh, on the last episode of Majora's Mask, they did actually talk about that there is some snakes that we do have to go and head on over to that area, because those are where the remaining Zora eggs are going to be located and uh, that is what is going to be happening for today in this episode as well as getting myself another heart piece uh, in Pinnacle Rock as well because if you actually do have the seahorse with you you are able to actually do uh, two birds with one stone inside uh, Pinnacle Rock so that is what I'm going to be trying to do here for you guys for today so without further ado let's go and jump right on in so uh, hopefully you guys are having yourself a good uh, a Monday out here so um First of all, what we want to do is actually head right on into uh, this door, which then this is actually going to lead us right into where our silver ruby chest is actually going to be, and also as well, that is where the other uh, Gerudo battle is also going to be taking place. Now, uh, I believe these guys or, or these girls don't even uh, see, see you all that too much, so I think if I just jump right on in here, they don't even have to worry about trying to see us at all. And we get ourselves the silver rupees, so not too shabby at all whatsoever. And I think it would just head up up here like so. I believe this is where our next uh, Zora, our next battle is going to be with our Zora ability. So if you want to get ready, uh, all we have to do is just kind of take our mask off here. And uh, let us do this. Alright, our final Gerudo battle. Let's see, are we going to be ready to do this? Because I think I am. So that's as far as you go. So, how unfortunate. You will be, uh, be getting past here. Oh, man. So, just like before. Hold on. We have to line this up here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright. So, throw that back at her. And then do your flip kick. You just have to do this again with four other, or, or three other different times. Because you do have to knock her down uh, four different times. Alright. Nice. And then hit her once more. Now, I think before, and I think uh, in Ocarina of Time, I believe if you actually go about one of these Gerudo people, I think they do like a half damage or something like that to you, or, or, or they do like an instant attack on you, which that is pretty crazy, but not in this one. So, ah, uh, not bad, but don't think it ends here. Well, I believe it does end here, because I believe that is the last time that we actually do get to see you. But that seems about it, so the only thing that we only have to do right now is actually head right on into this door where I believe the final Zora egg is here. So again, we actually have one of those uh, one of those uh, annoying clam type enemies again, which uh, hopefully that's not going to be too much of a problem. So let me just hit this side here so that we don't have to fall into the water, and then we can just go put on our Zora mask, and we can actually go and start using our magic ability. Now, uh, let me just get out my bottle. Oh, ouch. Hey, man. That's not cool. Oh, come on. Let me... Alright, fine. You know what? I'll just go and pick up this Zora egg, and I'll just be on my way then. <laughs> Alright, let's just swim up back up to the surface before we get bit again. Oh. Alright. So, I think that is about everything here. Uh... Unless if you wanted to go and pick up the heart piece, which I already did, that's basically everything that is here inside the uh, inside the port uh, inside the pirate uh, fortress. So what I'm going to do now is just going to go and uh, set up with our um, our uh, song of soaring to head us all the way back over to the research facility because I want to make sure that uh, I actually have some full bottles with me. So here we go back to the Great Bay Coast. Now, uh, actually, so since we're now done with the uh, Pirate Fortress now, we can actually be able to collect uh, more different size stuff, uh, which that is actually going to be heading on over to the Zora Hall, and also back over to the Zora Cape, and also some other uh, pretty neat other areas so that we can get ourselves a bottle and whatnot, but I'm not going to really uh, worry about that right away. Uh, that will probably be happening in the next episode, so uh, stay tuned for that. So here we are. So let's go and dump this egg right back into the research facility. And you guys may probably be wondering, uh, is what is, what are these Zora eggs actually going to be doing out here for us? Well, 
these Zora eggs in particular are actually going to be uh, leading us to be getting ourselves a new song. Now, I believe the song is called, actually called New Wave Bosa. I think that's what it's called. I could be wrong. But, uh, yeah, that, I believe that is actually the... Uh, the song that I believe we actually do need uh, to probably open up the open up the Great Bay Temple if I'm not mistaken or it would do uh, something else oh, it doesn't seem to work but here we go how about if I place it right in the middle there we go so that puts it down as all four but we're still missing out three more different Zora eggs now I wish there was a pot or somewhere that I can just literally try and get some uh, get some magic or whatnot, but I don't think that's going to be happening. But that's okay. Now, uh, before I forget, let's actually go and bring out our awesome seahorse with us because we are actually be heading on over to Pinnacle Rock. And uh, Pinnacle Rock is just all the way down here, and you guys uh, could probably tell that uh, you have to see these two different uh, pillars, and that will actually take us right to there. And I think there's actually somewhat of a signpost or something like that, and uh, you should be able to drop your seahorse right there during that time. And all you have to do is just follow the seahorse, and it will land us right to where that spot is. So I think if you just come right here and dive down. Oh, nope, didn't want to do that yet. Oh, well now we're in Pinnacle Rock. Now, I think, yeah, so if we just come right here, I believe all we have to do is just kind of drop our seahorse friend here, and he should be able to talk to us. Hey, man. Uh, you have strange powers, Prox. I have a request for, for you. Please follow me. All right, sure. So all we have to do now is just basically uh, try and follow him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. We have to be careful. So yeah, we'll just keep on uh, walking like this because I don't want to be swimming because I'm pretty certain if you uh, try to walk or, or I mean if you try to swim you'll probably uh, get lost in here and that's not good. So basically before coming here to Pinnacle Rock I kind of probably want to say just at least try to pick up at least like maybe three or four different bottles in here because there is three different Zora eggs and if you only have two then you actually have to come back and unfortunately uh, you will get lost because uh, because like you can only uh, have the seahorse only once with you so so then here we go and I believe this is where it should lead us right here to where all those uh, sea snakes are so here is in the depths of the pinnacle rock the many dangerous creatures uh, the sea snakes my friend is trapped there Prosh, can you please find a way to get rid of uh, the area of all the sea snakes can you help out my friend yes no problem we will be here to help out so to knock out these sea snakes Basically, all you have to do is just uh, kind of, um, whoa, okay, so yeah, there's a whole bunch of those guys, so we have to be super careful with them. So all you have to do, really, is just kind of use your magic powers on them, and I think you just have to do it twice, and you should be okay. Oh no, Dawn of the Second Day. Well, at least that kind of actually kind of helped us out there. We don't have to really uh, worry about getting into a cutscene or anything like that. Nice. So yeah, so you just do that twice, and then you can just come right down here. And all you have to do is just kind of see that little uh, blue illumination that's going on there, and then you know that that's going to be a Zor egg. So not too shabby. Now I think you can also find chests down in here as well too. I believe you can find 20 uh, rupees. So they're pretty nice, but we already have enough rupees as it is, so I will be taking those uh, to the bank with us. Now this could probably be it. go and then come back around again huh awesome all right here is the Z uh, other zora egg so i think what i'm gonna do here guys is that i'm just gonna basically just cut out like most of these uh, uh most of this part here at pinnacle rock just so that you guys don't have to get bored or whatnot with me trying to like figure out where like all these zora eggs are so I'll, I'll just cut them out in like different intervals so that you guys will be able to see me capture out uh, the different zora eggs that are going to be here so that is the second Zora egg. So let me just go and try to figure out where the other uh, Zora egg is going to be. And I'll see you guys in just in a little bit. Alright guys. And here is where the other sea snake is going to be. And it seems like we also, also uh, 
figured out where the other uh, seahorses uh, seahorse is. So we got the girlfriend back. Nice. So with all that being said, we'll just come right down here. And uh, let's go and uh, talk to the seahorses. And they should be able to give us a, uh, a heart piece for this. So thank you, Prox. This is a symbol of my deepest gratitude. Nice. So we got ourselves another piece of hearts. So now, I believe now we should actually be able to get ourselves a full heart container, if I'm not mistaken now, right? Yeah. So now we are uh, sitting at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're actually sitting at nine hearts right now. So that is pretty awesome. So pretty soon, then we'll get a full row. But I have to say, here in Majora's Mask, there is so many different, like, heart pieces to find. It's literally insane. Because, like, because like once you find one heart piece, there's going to be so many different other ones in, like, in so many, like, different areas. It's crazy. Like, I'm pretty certain I think, like, Great Bay has, like, quite a bit of heart pieces. Because, like, once we head back on over to the, uh, I want to say back over to the, uh, to the Great, uh, like, uh, like, around, like, the Zora Cape area type section. Like, uh, we'll be able to be seeing, like, a whole bunch of other stuff that goes on there. So, how in the heck am I going to get out of here? Oh, okay, I guess I just follow this way out. Okay, so all we have to do now is just head right back over to the research facility and get ourselves that brand new song that I've been uh, wanting to get. So, it looks like I think it's going to kick us out, right? Yeah, because we're not going to be able to follow the path. So, as long as you have uh, three or four uh, bottles, you should be okay. Oh, and it looks like uh, the Zora's back. Hey, Mikau, haven't you seen any of the gold color fish around here? Gold color fish, I know this, this area very well. Well, we actually just uh, found out where that gold color fish is, uh, but that was the seahorse. So, we're all good. We found it. And uh, we are now on the second day, which that is actually pretty nice for me because um, if we actually wait until, I believe, uh, 10 p.m. on the second day, we can actually go and get ourselves a, another uh, mask, which that is going to be pretty cool. So, can't wait until we do that pretty soon. Oh, yeah. Do some awesome jumping out of the water. It's too bad that, that in the 3DS version, they didn't really, like, leave that in. So, here we are. And now we get to see something pretty cool because these tadpoles actually turn, or, or I should say, these uh, baby Zoras actually turn into uh, into some musical notes, which uh, that which I think that's actually pretty cool how they actually could do that. So here we go. Oh, of course. Okay. Well, this should be the best spot. We'll just place you guys down here. So there we go. There goes one of the Zora eggs from back from uh, Pinnacle Rock. And then we'll just dump these other two guys in, and we should be good. Alright, there we go. That is the second one. So yes, there is seven in total for each of these different uh, Zora eggs here. I remember when I first... Uh, Play Majora's Mask. I, I didn't even know where like the other remaining uh, other three Zora eggs were, but you actually had to go and like talk to the fisherman and actually get the seahorse from it. So good, all the eggs have been brought together. So it's going to start. Quick, come in front of the aquarium. All right, let's see what's going to happen here. So I guess we should uh, see this. Oh man, here they go. They're breaking out of their eggs. Yep, and then they're going to be creating their own little uh, musical note here. So, it looks, uh, look at this. What does this mean? What in the world could this mean? Oh, I've got it. Don't you understand? The way these Zora children have lined up, that means. Well, all we have to do is just uh, bring out our ocarina for this. Ah, all right, here we go. So that is how you get it. All right, so sorry about that, guys. Uh, sorry about that little jump cut there. But, like, th that was trying to take me, like, quite a while to figure out on, on, on how to do that. Because, like, basically, I, I had the instrument. And, and I thought if you just, like, had the ocarina, like, with you, like, you'd be able to just do it, like, around the stop. But, no, you actually have to point over to where the uh, to where that guy is. And then we actually do have, uh, and then you do actually have to become Zora Link uh, to actually show him the instrument. And then you can be able to actually do the song here so here we go so we're gonna set it up like this and here we go and this is the song by the name of the new way bosa now this song is gonna become a little bit important uh, a little bit later on but at least now we actually do have it which that is gonna be pretty nice 
And this song is actually also pretty good too. I kind of like this song. Another good uh, Majora's Mask song. <laughs> Look at that guy just flailing with his arms. He's enjoying it. It just sounds like some nice, like good, like jazz type music going on. All right, so now we got ourselves the new wave bossa nova. Uh, it's the melody taught by the Zara children that uh, invigorates uh, singing voices. All right, so that is it. That is the instrument. Hmm. If these Zoras were born to teach this song, then hurry. Then you must play this song for the Zara who laid these eggs. Which, uh, I believe that is where we're going to be seeing, uh, Princess Bruto pretty soon. But I'm not going to worry about that yet, because right now we're just going to go and basically end off this episode here for today. And we can go and do some more exploration around, because we still have to do a little bit of some more side stuff. We actually have to go and basically pick up, uh, some more heart pieces and also a new bottle as well, because... Uh, in the next episode, we will be meeting up with the Beaver Brothers uh, that is also going to be doing some more racing, uh, but this time it's going to be kind of like uh, a little bit like Superman 64 a little bit where you have to like travel through the different rings, but this time we have to uh, go through the different uh, life preservers. Uh, but this episode will be back to back, so just let you guys know that um, since I haven't really done the new Let's Play series yet, we will be doing a back to back episode uh, for both Majora's Mask here. So you guys will be seeing another Majora's Mask for Tuesday. Day, and I'll see you guys in the next one and peace